Have you ever heard the phrase, do as I say, not as I do? This is one of those videos. So I really wanted to kind of change the look up of the car for just a little bit recently. Um, and now that I've got like the wheel lips polished up and all of that, really started to decide that I want a little bit better of a stance. Um, the front, Need to come, front wheels need to come out a little bit towards the fenders and the rears need to be lowered a little bit and depending on how much they get lowered will need to come out as well. So, I've bought a baseball bat. I have fenders that need to be rolled and I bought wheel spacers. So these are just some generic wheel spacers that we're gonna throw on the front. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of space to throw a little bit more space out from the fender. Um, and we're gonna do it with these guys. These are five lug and they are five sixteenth inch thick. So they're pretty good size, but maybe need some spacers for the back. I mean, it's a little bit closer but I want to see how the fender rolling and all that goes first. So, we are going to jack up the fronts first, throw the spacers on, and see how it looks. Alright, and here is that wheel with the spacer it's out a little bit further. It's just pretty subtle and check. I think we should be pretty good as far as rubbing goes. Um, but just to be sure in case this does want to hit, I am going to roll the fenders with the baseball bat. Um, so one thing to note is with these spacers, so these are pretty thick, and what happens is you remove threads from your wheel studs, or your your hub studs, I don't, I don't know what you'd call them exactly, but um, I, had, I had enough to thread it on pretty confidently, um, so, if you don't have enough, you'll have to get a different kind of spacer, one that has studs built into it. Um, these ones just fit over your hub. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty good. I'm liking the way that looks. Um, we'll go ahead and roll the fenders on the front. So here's why you don't do the bat method without being careful. It's gonna be tough to see. There we go, right there. So that is my paint on my fenders chipped. Just a little bit, it's really not that bad, but you can't tell above the car anyways. 
To ensure that doesn't rust, I am going to get a little bit of spray paint or touch up paint. Just cover it, that way nothing rusts. But it did roll it pretty good. Um, the lips up in there pretty nicely. Um, so we'll see how that does. Hopefully it holds and my tire doesn't rub too much. But um, I'm gonna do the rears now. That's the rear. Um, I lowered it about a half an inch. I feel like it could go lower though. What do you guys think? Pretty close. I think if we got a spacer and spaced it out, it would look even better. But we're not gonna rub right now. So, probably just gonna lower the other side half an inch and drive around for the next few days to see how I feel. Um, but the fronts look good, and it's a little bit better of an even, like, it was raked forward a little bit, but now it's, it's looking pretty even, which is good. Um, all right, well, I'm just gonna move on, do the other side, um, spacer in the front, lower the rear. I'm gonna time lapse that right now. In typical fashion, in typical Sony fashion, the battery died after, I don't know, an hour, an hour of use. And of course my other one's dead too because I left it in the charger while it was in my backpack and just drained it. So the rest of this video will be shot on the phone. I just rolled the fender on this and I put the spacer on. I just need to tighten the lug nuts back up and then we're gonna move on to the rear. So sorry for the time lapse. That doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I'm just going to show you the car once it's done. So I realized that I didn't make an ending for this video. So this is the ending. Um, don't do the baseball bat. And I don't recommend spacers. I mean, they're okay but use it at your own risk. Make sure that your threads are good and that you can, you can handle a spacer and it's not gonna mess up your tires or anything. Driving to work this morning, there was a little bit of rubbing just when I pulled into the parking lot and did like a couple hard turns. So I don't know if the spacers are gonna stay or not. Um, I'd rather not destroy my tires that are pretty new still. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you leave a comment, hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video.